brothers welcome back to ages of conflict in today's episode we are doing the world now this is a free for all fashion so all 167 nations will be fighting against one one another now to start things off we obviously have our leaderboard which as you can imagine starts with russia in first place canada in second place followed by the united states china and brazil no alliances to speak of here let's see who gets off to an early start first blood was spilt by turkey as they take out greece now i'm not gonna be able to call every single country going down but that was our first one so obviously we have to see that one happen we'll be stopping at every hundred years increments just to see how the world is looking and for huge news united states has conquered canada canada has fallen off the leaderboard completely it's all up to the united states to grab a bunch of their land portugal making its way over as well as greenland but what a huge victory for the united states who was very cash poor after doing winning that attack it was an all or nothing for them and australia has fallen australia was conquered by new zealand the land is split between papua new guinea indonesia and new zealand all getting a little bit of a chunk of that and in the first hundred years russia still leads with 75,000 pixels followed closely by the united states at 58,000. in third place belongs to china fourth place is greenland and fifth place belongs to brazil now the alliances are greenland's league which is greenland and the united states working together russia's union is russia and belarus which is pretty funny concerning in real life now but the malaysia pact rounds out the top three with malaysia brunei and indonesia working together and fourth place is paraguay's coalition which is chile paraguay colombia and peru oh and here comes morocco against spain in a big push and they take down spain Spain is out of this one. United States is now going to be against Morocco. And in the year 255, 100 nations remain. Let's do a continent check. Starting out in North America, the United States made huge gains after taking out Canada, but had to cede a lot of land to Mexico. The strength has very much neutralized here. And but United States remains in a far away first place. And in South America, it's Brazil's game to lose as they have a tremendous lead over all their counterparts here in South America. And Africa still remains very united with Algeria emerging as a powerhouse in the north and Angola emerging in the south. Oceania is anyone's game after Australia has fallen with Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, and Indonesia all being of relatively similar strength. Asia has seen the emergence of Kazakhstan and China becoming dominant forces. Russia getting pushed back quite heavily. They are down to their last thousand gold, even though they have a ton of land here. And in Europe, it looks like France is the strong in the West and Ukraine the strongest in the East. But this is a very divided continent for a lot of little land. And a lot of things can change very quickly. And here comes Algeria to fight off Morocco. Morocco has fallen. Algeria takes, splits the Iberian Peninsula with France. Oh, Algeria is going to be a tough one to take out. Speaking of battles, here comes another one. Chad is fighting off Sudan and Uganda, having a seeding ground, but able to maintain lines here as the borders start to neutralize. But Chad is in a dangerous position here, not having too many allies on their side. It's Chad and Cameroon fighting Uganda and Sudan. Oh, and here's the surprise one. Nicaragua has taken out Mexico. Mexico has fallen. The United States gets a little reprieve watching their longtime rival fall to the powerhouse of Nicaragua. Oh, and China has fallen to Russia. Russia has captured China, but Kazakhstan is knocking at their front door. And in Asia, only one of those two is going to survive. Kazakhstan looking very strong. And in the year 400, Russia still holding on to first place, but quickly catching up to them is the United States. In third place is the surprise Kazakhstan, really putting it to Russia. Fourth place is Greenland. Fifth place is Brazil. Now, when we talk about alliances, Greenland's league still remains in first place with Greenland and the United States, joined by the Dominican Republic and Norway. Second place is Operation Russia with Russia and Belarus. Third place is the Treaty of Kazakhstan with Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Azerbaijan. Fourth place is India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. And fifth place is the Malaysia Pact, which is Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, all working together to try and capture Oceania. Oh, and a huge surprise, Ukraine declared war on Russia and beat back Russia. Russia's out of this. It's a land grab for all of Asia as Kazakhstan is going to come out hugely on top of this, followed by South Korea and Myanmar, all looking to get a little bit of a piece. Japan is also there, but having to go by water slowed them down tremendously. Ukraine dealing the death blow against Russia. It's the battle of the lands here as Greenland and Iceland are both fighting. Greenland encroaching... Greenland encroaching against Iceland as Norway comes up from the south. 
Iceland has completely lost command troops, but they've regained it here. Greenland dangerously close to Iceland's capital. Are they going to be able to take it out or will Iceland be able to hold the line? They are one pixel away. That's all they need. And it looks like Iceland will fall as Greenland emerges as the champion of lands. And here comes Chad pushing against Sudan. Sudan in a very bad place might lose their capital. They do have a backup one, but will they even be able to hold that as Chad has really put on the pressure here? Sudan finally able to start pushing him back. But man, has Sudan diminished in strength compared to Chad. Chad is going to be an absolute monster here. If Kenya gets involved, that might be it for Sudan. No, Chad might take out Sudan right here. They have really started to push them back and are really putting in the powerhouse now. They have taken out the complete north of Sudan. Sudan down to just a few pixels before Chad and Sudan peace out. And here comes Ukraine once again, trying to deal a death blow against the giant in Kazakhstan. They're really making some strong passes against Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan even though they were able to grab so much land, have been constantly fighting in battles and not able to capitalize on their strength as Ukraine is pushing them back. But here comes the counter push from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan looking to deal the death blow against Ukraine. Now it's Ukraine in a lot of trouble as Kazakhstan is really pushing close to their capital. Will they be able to hold the line? Ukraine is in a shadow of the, who they were just a minute ago. But here they come once again. Oh, Ukraine able to hold on there. And in the year 748 nations remain, Kazakhstan leads our leaderboard with 7,500 pixels, followed closely by the United States at 66. In third place, a surprise South Korea, followed by Greenland in fourth place and Brazil in fifth place. Greenland's league still leads our alliances, having Norway, Greenland, United States, and Dominican Republic. Now, the Dominican Republic has made some strong pushes down here into South America. Second place belongs to Kazakhstan League, which is now Kazakhstan, Iran, and Kyrgyzstan. Third place belongs to South Korea's League of South Korea and Japan. Fourth is Uruguay's Pact of Uruguay, Argentina, and Brazil. Brazil looking to add another head to its mantle is knocking on the door. Bolivia down falls Bolivia. Brazil taking out another player in South America. Oh, and the Dominican Republic also looking to do the same in here in Peru. Peru is on the back foot. Dominican Republic very much pushing into Peru. Peru is very close to capitulating as their capital is under constant threat and down falls Peru. And in a shocking turn of events, South Korea, who was in third place, was conquered by Bangladesh. Bangladesh landing the killing blow, strengthening Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan basically becoming the new Russia here is on the warpath against Ukraine. Once again, Ukraine completely out of command points here they're going to be very low in command efficiency until this little bar starts to go up they're in a lot of trouble and it might be the end of ukraine right here madagascar knocking on kenya's door and madagascar has taken out kenya they had lost a lot of room to mozambique but madagascar able to thread the needle and take out kenya and two very big moves india and afghanistan have united and Malaysia and Indonesia have merged into one another. Iran knocking on the heels of Jordan. Jordan in a little bit of trouble here. Iran being financed from the back is now starting to make some strong pushes. Jordan has three capitals to use, but they're in very close proximity to each other. Two have fallen. Here goes the third. Iran has taken out Jordan and takes most of the control of the Middle East. After Indonesia and Malaysia have combined forces, they are really looking to take control of Oceania. There goes Timor Less. They are fighting Papua New Guinea and New Zealand. Both are falling back to the combined force of Indonesia. Indonesia really looking like the powerhouse here in, in Oceania. Kazakhstan once again trying to eliminate their thorn in their side, which is Ukraine. Ukraine is holding out, but for how much longer? They have been pushed all the way back into Norway. They are holding the line here, but a shadow of their former selves. Europe very much belongs to Kazakhstan in second place is Hungary, which came out of nowhere. France has been pushed back all the way into Ireland. Algeria controls a little bit of the Iberian Peninsula. Oh, and here goes Ukraine. Looks like they're going to fall right here as Kazakhstan, yes, are able to complete the mission and take out Ukraine. And in a big development, Iran has united into Kazakhstan, strengthening their resolve. Kazakhstan is going to be a hard one to take out. Oh, but here comes Japan. Japan is absolutely taking huge chunks out of Kazakhstan. Now they are having to fight back Bangladesh at the same time. So this might be all for naught. But Kazakhstan says, I can take this and more and declares war on Poland. Is slightly pushing back Poland, but holding the line against Japan as they do peace out. Japan having to deal with the, the might of Bangladesh on their borders. Oh, the United States smells weakness as Chad and Nigeria had both attacked Algeria. 
Algeria is now getting attacked by the United States. The United States has made landfall in the Iberian Peninsula. Algeria has peaced out with Chad and Nigeria, but the United States has a lot of gold to work through. And they, if they can even get a foothold here, it would be a victory for the United States. They're getting financed by Greenland, slightly starting to push back Algeria even more, making landfall in Africa, but now getting pushed back by Algeria. Algeria desperately trying to hold on to its kingdom, but the United States is so much bigger in force and size. Now in the year 1500, Kazakhstan still far and away in first place, especially after uniting with Iran. Second place belongs to the United States. Third place is Chad. Fourth place is, is the surprise in Japan. Fifth place is Indonesia. Sixth place is Greenland. Seventh is Brazil. Dominican Republic pulls in eighth. Bangladesh in ninth and India in 10th. Now the alliances is still the order of Greenland. At, powered by the United States, Greenland, and the Dominican Republic, all making strong passes in their continents. Greenland has been pushed back off of Europe, but they are holding the line, letting the United States and the Dominican Republic do most of the heavy lifting. Kazakhstan, anchored by Kazakhstan, is now just Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. The Chad Union is Chad, Nigeria, and Cameroon emerging as the dominant force here in Africa. The Treaty of Indonesia is proving to be the powerhouse in Oceania with Thailand and Indonesia uniting, pushing back Papua New Guinea and New Zealand. Oh, and look at this. The Dominican Republic is heavily pushing back Brazil. Brazil, completely out of command efficiency, has ceded a lot of ground. And now Nigeria, smelling a little bit of weakness, declares war on Brazil. The Dominican Republic really starting to be strong out of this one, anchored by a lot of donations from the United States. And Oceania now belongs to Indonesia. They have no one else to fight over here. They are united with Thailand, so the only place they can push over is into Madagascar and into Africa. Oh, and here comes Chad really knocking on the door of Nambia. Nambia in a lot of trouble. They only have one more capital. Chad is not going to be denied from this one. Oh, will they? Nambia holding the line a couple of pixels away from their capital. This is going to be a tough, tough battle for them to be able to hold on to as Chad is just very strong and dominant force here in Africa. But they do finally get the peace. And Japan has joined the Treaty of Indonesia joining forces with Thailand and Indonesia. They are going to be very powerful and a hard team to stop. And Thailand has merged into Indonesia. Indonesia now controls completely Southeast Asia and Oceania, allied with Japan. The East is theirs. Will they be able to take out Bangladesh? fully uniting borders and then push into the West. And here comes the pincer move from Japan and Indonesia looking to get payback. Is Japan against Bangladesh? Bangladesh only has two more capitals and it is a lot of trouble. Finally able to start a counteroffensive here, but for how much longer are they gonna be able to hold out? Oh, and here comes India once again, trying to knock off Kyrgyzstan and they finally get it done. India has completely taken out Kyrgyzstan, but that only opens the door for more attacks from Kazakhstan as Kazakhstan is now starting to make impasses against India and Bangladesh, an alliance that is holding strong and the only two reasons that these two countries are alive. Brazil in a lot of trouble. Here comes the Dominican Republic. Will they be able to finish off Brazil? No, but Brazil has to move to their secondary capital right before they peace. Brazil is in a lot of trouble. The Dominican Republic is very, very strong. And in the year 2000, our leaderboard remains mostly the same. Kazakhstan in first place, followed closely by the United States. Chad is in third place, followed by Indonesia and the Dominican Republic. Alliances, uh, the Order of Greenland still remains in a dominant first position, followed in second place by Sudan's league, which is now Sudan, Kazakhstan, and Mozambique. Third place is Indonesia's League of Indonesia and Japan. Fourth place belongs to Chad's Union, which remains mostly the same. And in fifth place is India's League of India and Bangladesh. Bangladesh having to fight off both Indonesia and Japan has actually been gaining ground against them. Oh, and this might be the end for Mozambique as Madagascar is making some strong pushes. And yes, Madagascar reclaims its homeland. Mozambique has fallen. But will that matter as Chad is now knocking on their doors? In a huge turn of events, India has united into Bangladesh. Bangladesh is now a big powerhouse, having pushed back Indonesia, fighting off Japan. Will they be able to do that alone though? They can now join another alliance, but will they be able to secure one remains to be seen. And Bangladesh has found a new friend and a strong one indeed, as they have united with Kazakhstan and Sudan to fight off the powers of Japan. Now, Japan is the one who's doing the pushing here as Indonesia is leaving them out to dry. They still have that alliance, but did not honor that, that in that battle. And this might be the end for Nigeria as they've completely run out of command efficiency. Algeria making a resurgence here. Will it matter much? Because Chad is also in this fight and they do peace out. 
only after Algeria gets a good chunk of land. Now in South America, the tables have turned ever so slightly as Argentina is now making some big pushes against the Dominican Republic. And here we go again with the Dominican Republic running out of command efficiency. Argentina almost securing the entirety of South America has really pushed back the Dominican Republic. United States alliance is falling apart. Greenland is starting to get pushed back as well. Japan in a lot of trouble as Bangladesh has now landed on Japan. Japan able to get the counter push though. Here they come knocking through but Bangladesh. Bangladesh is pushed back. They have a number of capitals they have to work through but a huge blow to Bangladesh as they were almost rid of Japan. But Japan resurges and pushes them back even further. And France has fallen. Greenland finally able to win that battle. They have to go through Poland if they want to get anything more or Kazakhstan. Neither is going to be an easy battle for them. Now in South America, the Dominican Republic has been pushed back completely off the continent. The continent now belongs to Argentina and Brazil. Oh, and the Dominican Republic yields and forms into the United States. I was just about to talk about the Dominican Republic. They had taken out the most amount of nations at seven. Second place was four. But Dominican Republic now part of the United States. And Poland has joined the Greenland coalition. So Greenland will no longer be fighting against Poland. All three of these nations are united. They have a common enemy in Kazakhstan, but the United States has no allies left to help them fight off in Africa or in South America. And in a big development, Greenland has united into the United States. If we take a look at our leaderboard, it is now United States running away with it in number one position. Second place belongs to Japan, Kazakhstan, Falling from Grace is in third. Fourth place belongs to Argentina. Chad is in fifth place. Sixth place is Indonesia. Seven is Poland. Eight is Bangladesh. Nine is Algeria. And 10 is Nigeria. Now the alliances is now the United States coalition, which is the United States, Poland, and Argentina, which absorbed Brazil. Second place belongs to Indonesia's League of Indonesia and a emerging Japan. Third place is Sudan's League, falling apart with Bangladesh, Sudan and Kazakhstan all on the back foot. Fourth place is Chad's Union of Chad, Nigeria, and Cameroon. And in fifth place is Albania's League, which is Albania and Algeria. In a huge development in Asia, Bangladesh has united into Kazakhstan. Now this might be a disaster for them as that leaves just one target for Japan and Indonesia to have to work against. Kazakhstan, very cash poor. Japan has 34,000. Kazakhstan has 3,000. And Indonesia has 55,000. And Sudan has united into Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan now alone in the world can make new allies, but they are fighting a lot of wars on a lot of different fronts, actually pushing back the combined forces of Poland, Greenland, or Poland, the United States, Japan, and Indonesia. Indonesia taking the big brunt of it. Japan actually now starting to advance, as well as the United States and Poland. Kazakhstan out of command efficiency here. This might be a huge blow for Kazakhstan, but fortunately for them, they have a ton of land to cede before they'll possibly lose. Kazakhstan in a world of hurt is getting attacked by the United States, Poland, Japan, and Indonesia. Japan getting dangerously close to Kazakhstan's original capital. Poland making some strong pushes from the east. Japan, Poland from the west. Japan from the east making some big pushes. Kazakhstan loses its primary capital. And Japan has emerged as a huge powerhouse here in Asia. Poland not done yet though is still making big passes against Kazakhstan. Moving their way into the Middle East. Here comes the United States and Poland back into Chad. Chad has so much gold, but is not using it on command efficiency. They are very much in a lot of trouble here as they are constantly getting pushed back by the combined forces of Poland and the United States, funded by Argentina. Japan once again on the warpath against Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan has ceded a lot of ground and continues to do so. They might survive this battle, but they are going to be much weaker for it. And in a big development, the United States has left its league. Poland and Argentina are alone here. What will the United States be doing with their newfound freedom? And the answer is immediately fighting their old allies, Poland and Argentina, both ganging up against the United States. The United States is going to need to find a new alliance here if they're going to look to survive. And in fact, they do. They rejoin up with Argentina and Poland. Indonesia has abandoned Indonesia's union, which means Japan and Indonesia are both free agents. That might be the shakeup that they need and they fight each other immediately. Indonesia on the warpath here in Africa has made some big impasses against Chad. Chad, despite their gold, is not able to buy themselves victory here. They're going to be able to hold on for a little bit longer. But ah, the combined forces of the United States 
Poland and Indonesia have really started to take their their toll. And in the year 3800, Japan and Chad have started to seize ground. As we look at our leaderboard, the United States is far away in first place, followed by Japan in second place. Poland wraps up the top three, followed by Indonesia in fourth, Argentina in fifth, Chad in sixth, Kazakhstan in seventh, Cameroon in eighth, and somehow Rwanda existing with zero pixels in ninth. Now the alliances have been shaken up a little bit, but mostly still Argentina United States and Poland lead the way. Chad's coalition has become a big powerhouse with Chad, Cameroon, and Japan uniting forces. Operation Rwanda is Rwanda, Kazakhstan, and Indonesia. Oh, and the Argentina coalition was disbanded. Argentina has joined forces with the Chad coalition. The United States and Poland are both free agents here as the United States immediately declares war on Argentina, but is paying the price for it here as the United States is getting pushed back on all fronts. Poland has also declared war on the United States, but Poland is getting pushed back. Everyone is fighting everyone. It's pure chaos at this time. Poland has joined Operation Rwanda, which is probably the weakest of the alliances, but it's an alliance. They join up with Indonesia and what remains of Kazakhstan. Rwanda's also there, I guess. But the United States, the last big free agent here on the board. Japan fighting off Indonesia, Poland, and Kazakhstan is making some big pushes against Kazakhstan. But here comes Kazakhstan. Japan is completely out of gold. Who could have seen this? It's a land rush to see who can get the most amount of land. Poland is pushing the back. Kazakhstan is pushing the back. Indonesia is making some huge pushes. This is Japan's last capital. Completely out of gold. The only thing that will save them is a truce. And I don't think... No, Japan has fallen. Conquered by their one-time ally, Indonesia. United States making some big pushes against Poland. Knocks them out of the United Kingdom. But Poland has a ton of capitals to its name. And it's going to be a hard one to take down here. We'll see if they survive that as they start to get the counter push. But in the year 4,000, first place is the United States. Second place is Indonesia. Third place belongs to Poland. Fourth place is Argentina. Fifth place is Kazakhstan. Seventh is Cameroon. Eighth place is Chad. And Rwanda doesn't count. I think they just exist because they have a coalition. But only two alliances remain. Operation Rwanda, which is Poland, Indonesia, and Kazakhstan. And the Treaty of Chad which is Chad, Cameroon, Argentina, and the United States who have just joined up. So it's East versus West here in the final showdown of eight nations. Cameroon in a lot of trouble as they're getting pushed back by the United States. They have two capitals remaining, but they've lost one, they've lost one of their original three. The United States is making some big pushes. No, Cameroon actually has a couple more capitals. Excuse me, they actually are gonna be completely fine, but the United States still making a big push here in Africa. Oh, and this could be trouble for Chad and Cameroon as the United States and Indonesia are both making big pushes here in Africa. Cameroon is almost gone. Chad still has a ton of gold to its name, but is, oh, Cameroon is gonna fall. It doesn't look like they're gonna survive. The United States knocking on the door, one pixel away. No, Cameroon is getting a counter push here and is able to hold off the United States at least for now. But here comes Indonesia to finish off with the United States couldn't and down falls Cameroon. Oh, and here comes the United States on the war front. Poland back to their last capital. United States knocking on the door. If they could knock off Poland, that would be huge for them. They're very close and down falls Poland. The United States and Japan in a land grab for all of it. Jap or Indonesia, excuse me. Indonesia getting most of it, having higher troop counts. But the United States knocks off Poland. In the year 4,500, four nations remain. The United States running away with this, but Indonesia in a close second place. Argentina wraps up th third place and in fourth place is the very diminished but very rich Chad. The alliances is Argentina and the United States versus Operation Rwanda, which is Indonesia and Rwanda. Chad is all alone in this world looking for a friend. And Argentina has united into the United States. So when we look at the leaderboard, the United States is far away champion number one, Indonesia in second place and Chad in third place. And Indonesia and the United States have formed an alliance. Indonesia broke their alliance with Rwanda. And now they're fighting against the only other person on the map here, which is Chad. That is not good news for Chad. Chad has, is down to their last capital. And down they fall. The United States landing the killing blow. And then there were two. Indonesia and the United States. If we look at the United States, they have taken out nine countries. They have 123 gold currently and a five combat efficiency. Indonesia 
has six combat efficiency, 5,000 gold, and also nine victims to their name. And as we wrap up our top two, we will speed through the rest of this game and see who comes out on top. An East versus West battle, the United States has a huge advantage, but will that matter in the long run? We will see. And down falls Indonesia. They put up a valiant fight, but the United States was just too much for them in the end. But as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day. And a big thank you to my members with executive producers, Ratsuka Robert, Miss Gets the Mallard, 137, KQ, GL, In My Element, Mason Slash Aurelius, and of course, channel sponsor, Daniel Stevens. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.